Well, guys, I'm here again for uh, to continue my very important purpose in this league, which is to take down those that do not deserve to be in the positions they are. Well, here we are. It's going to be a great match. We've got myself, the guy who runs this great league, and easily the biggest heel this league has ever seen. I beat the guy who loses at everything, the guy who quits everything, and the guy who whines about everything. I know you guys love me as the commissioner, but I've yet to get some love as an actual competitor, which is fair enough. I'm not the best. I never said I was the best. But I'm damn good this game. Beating Chris legitimizes what I already know, that I'm better than everyone else, and I am going to prove it today. Look, I've already talked my smack. I've already bragged. I've already made my bold claims. Now it's time to back it up. Take three productions. You better not fuck me over. I'm gonna watch you good. You better not give him an easier game. Otherwise, you're fucking done. And Lucas, I may not like your character, but best of luck. Hi guys, welcome back to the ultimate tournament of worldwide movie trivia. I'm back in a hosting chair for once, so uh, that's not uh, really happened uh, recently, so that's fun. And uh, the reason I'm here, of course, is because Chris is having his match today against Lucas Schildbach. So, quick recap of the other quarterfinal matches we've had so far. Jen won very closely to Zabi, and she's taking on Zach Mitchell, who, yeah. He beat John Selfie pretty handy, uh, handily. And the winner of this is, of course, going up against the Maelstrom, the number one competitor, Manning Franks. So that's always something interesting. Uh, my co-host today, of course, Evan DeGraff. What do you think about this match today? Look, this is a match that has been voting for a long time. Look, Lucas is against everything that is the system, and we are the system, and that scares me a little bit. And his competitor is the man who runs the system. So this is more. This is more so. Lucas just he he's he's that fly that just won't go away. You keep trying to swat him away, and he just keeps coming back. And then Chris is that guy who likes to put his foot down and is just never able to. So it's gonna be a very interesting match to say the least. Uh, Chris is still supposed to have something to prove with him being a three and two. He, if he loses this, then he turns into a 500 record again. Uh, same thing going in and then coming out of the tournament. And if Lucas wins, I actually think there's a really good shot that we see him winning this tournament. So it's a very interesting match, to say the least. Okay, well, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, the thing is, I should kind of be on Chris's side um, and be against Lucas. But Chris did something to me in a previous match, and I really hope that today I can stump him on some of the, these questions just the way he did it with my match so uh, with that out of the way let's get this party started and there is one guy who will of course introduce us today Chris <laughs> well apparently I have to do my own golden throw but you know what I love doing it so that being said let's do this introducing first <clears throat> with a record of three wins one defeat with one knockout he has climbed his way up the ranks in this tournament and is easily become the best heel this league has ever seen. Give it up for Lucky Luke, Lucas Shellbach, and his opponent. With a record of three wins, two defeats, with one knockout, he is the commissioner of Worldwide Movie Trivia and the guy currently yelling out your earbuds, which I do apologize for once again. Give it up for Chris <coughs> Skywalker Doman! All right, gentlemen. Thank you for that introduction, Chris. Um, wait, what? Yeah, that's true. 
Right guys, so we'll, we'll start with round one, which will go like this. Each competitor will get four questions of four predetermined categories in sets of two. Um, you will get one point for a correct answer, and there is no stealing in this round. Because of the tournament play, Chris is the favorite. So Chris, would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. You'll go first. And Lucas, would you like category one or category two? One, because my record's better. All right, he's got a good point there. Uh, Evan, I'll have you ask the questions to our favorite heel over here, and I'll ask the questions to the commission. So, right, Chris, for your first question in the category of classics, what 1930s classic has the following characters? Gerald, Ellen, Scarlet, and Sula. Down with the wind. Correct for a point. Your second question in the category of action adventure. In Air Force One, who plays the head terrorist? Come Gary on. Oldman. Come Correct on. for another point. Why don't you just give him four points so we can move on to the second <laughs> round? Wow. All Lucas. Right, we'll see, Lucas, firing how are you? Well, talking about Lucas and firing back, here's your first question in the realm of classics. Who uh, plays Boo Radley in To Kill a Mockingbird? Robert Duvall. That is correct for one point. Such a Look, great That movie. is like at least four times harder than any of these questions. The guys, in like four four minutes of the movie. Literally That's four minutes people. of them. In, in the realm of action adventure, in Conskull Island, John C. Riley's character, Hank Marlowe, is a survivor from which war? He is a survivor of World War II. Correct. I'm surprised also, that, that Lucas has saw, right, saw that movie. Sucks ass. So well, cool. we're tied two to two. We're tied two to two like, uh, uh, in the thriller. So Throwing it back to case. Chris, in your category of horror thriller, who plays Casey Becker in Scream? Ooh, I think he might not know. The scary Maybe those shades aren't helping anymore. Maybe the top hat isn't helping. The pressure. David Arquette. Right. Right. Love the top hat. As uh, incorrect, we're looking for Drew Barrymore. In your last question in the category of movie release dates. What year saw the release of movies from the following franchises? Planet of the Apes, Middle Earth, Harry Potter, and Shrek. 2001. Correct for another point. It's 3 to 2 as we go back to Lucas. I'll give props on that. That was tough. All right. Lucas, <clears throat> in the realm of horror thriller, in 2013's en uh, Enemy, Adam is a teacher at college. What class does he, does he give? Does he teach? I should be more specific. Um, Vulgar how language specific, here. How specific? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how specific? It, it's just a class of college, so it's, it's not like a very basic level, like basic level. Um, yes. Yeah. History. Yes, that's Points. correct for one point. Good guess. Yes. All right. <clears throat> and then your last question in the realm of movie release dates: What year did Death to Smoochie come out? This is the second time he's used that word in this match. That's what happens when you're from a Manassas, Boston specifically. Uh, can you repeat the question one time, please? Yeah. What year did Death to Smoochie come out? I've never heard this fucking movie. Um, Five, four, 1998. 2002. Oh, you're looking for 2002. Something that Lucas hasn't heard of. Very, very and right. it is a tie game going into round two. Good match so far, guys. So round two will go like this. Each competitor will choose a category between one through eight, which pertains to either a certain movie category or rivals or personal preference. Um, you will then uh, you may pick twice uh, if the first one is not to your liking, but you have to stick with the second one uh, unless you pick rival's preference, and then you have to stick with the first. You will then get four questions of that category, and each correct answer is two points, but if you don't get it from just the question, you can go for multiple choice, and then the point value will go down to one point, and of course, there is stealing in this round. Chris, you are still the favorite in this match. Would you like to go first or second? Sorry, Lucas, I'm going to use your strategy against you. I'm going second. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. All right. Lucas, the categories in this round are spy movies, Matthew Vaughn movies, romance, 80s movies, classics, and sci-fi fantasy. 
Please choose a number between one through eight. Four. Really? Fuck me! Oh, that <gasps> is the category of rivals preference. All right, Chris, choose a category for uh, Lucas. Give him Matthew Vaughn. Matthew Vaughn, all right. Something um, I know that Chris was specifically studying earlier. So this <laughs> should be interesting. All right, Lucas, I will read you the questions for Matthew Vaughn, and Evan will ask to Chris later. So, Lucas, your first question in the category of Matthew Vaughn movies. What type of drug is Daniel Craig's character dealing in Layer Cake? Multiple choice. Options are A, heroin, B, morphine, C, cocaine, or D, ecstasy. Layer Cake? Right. Um, you think Daniel Craig's a good font? I think he is. He is. I love him. Especially Casino Royale. C. Not Skyfall, though. What did you oh. say? C. C. Correct yeah. for a point. Well done. What a poll. Your next question in Matthew Vaughn. Besides Math Matthew Vaughn himself, who co-wrote the screenplay for Stardust? Stardust, an app Schmovillians like to use. <laughs> uh, uh, a options are A, J.J. Connelly, B, Jane Goldman, C, Ashley Miller, or D, Zach Stentz. I've only heard of one of those people, so I'm going to go with D. Uh, Chris Chance of Steel. B. Correct That's for correct a point. point. You have a tie game. All right, your third question, Lucas and Matthew Vaughn. Chris D'Amico decides to call his superhero alter ego what in Kick-Ass? Movie I haven't seen. Get on I it. Should. I know I should. I've heard it's really good. <clears throat> Lucas is struggling. Like, um, I, how many, I, I don't know what I hear. Uh, multiple choice. Options are A, the motherfucker. B, son of crime. <laughs> C, Painbringer, or D, Red Mist? This is the first Kick-Ass, not the second one. Yeah, it's the second. Uh, no, it's the first. <laughs> because the first, because A is the is the second one, but D is the first one. That is correct, correct for a point. And you, don't get a bonus, you don't get a bonus one for knowing uh, that. I had to, that's good. Yeah, that's okay. All right, your last question. What type of tech does Valentine use to make everyone fight in Kingsman the Secret Service? It's like they're, they're implants, they're like chip implants that are, I think they use radio frequency. Is that close enough or do you, should I go to multiple choice? I uh, go for multiple choice or multiple choice, if you want. Multiple choice then, like, if that's Arkansas, the same. A, SIM cards, B, specialized pens, C, batteries, or D, specialized glasses. A. That is correct for correct. a point. Lucas, it's six very simple four. name that we were looking for, Lucas. Very simple name that we were looking for. All right. <laughs> Chris, the remaining categories in this round are sci-fi fantasy, classics, 80s movies, romance, and spy movies. Please choose them between 1 through 8 and 4 and 5 are off the table. I'll go with number 8. Ooh. Category of spy movies. Would you like to stick with that or go for something else? I'll go for something else. I'll take number oh. 3. Let's see. Three is the category of classics, and Evan will ask you the question. Whoa! This is this is became a much more interesting <clears throat> match than I ever thought it could have been. But let's jump in right into classics. Chris Stillman, who plays the Wicked Witch in The Wizard of Oz. Very good film, by the way. Come on, man. Film. Come on. We're off to see The Wizard, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Please don't sing it. Don't. I have to. You don't. You don't. You don't have oh my to. God. It's a classic. Five. Four. Margaret Hamilton. Wow, good pull. <laughs> Two points. Let me sure I got the last name right. Which ties the game up six to six. Where does Carl Demon display Demon. Kong when they take him to New York? The original Kong. The original. Well, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a classic, so you should know. Fuck. Multiple choice. One, two, All right, three. A. Times Square, B, Broadway Theater, C, Central Park, or D, Madison Square Garden. I thought you were looking for a specific theater. It's the Broadway Theater, but... Correct, for <laughs> one point. All right. Chris, doing pretty decent in this classics category. What profession is the main character in I Confess? Multiple choice. A, a librarian. 
B, assassin. C, scientist. Or D, priest. Priest? Yes, correct. Point. For one point. That's probably the biggest pull out of the butt I've ever seen. All right. He was like, the last oh, question. Confess, priest. Your, that your was, last I think the literal, the literal link right there that made that answer come up. Your, your, your last question. What 1944 movie sees two old ladies going on a killing streak? Oh, come on. I love this movie. I love this movie. Come on. Chris Bowman, miss, miss, miss. Double indemnity. <laughs> <gasps> Would you like to chase the steal? Arsenic and old lace. Boom, 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 boom. It's a tie game. game. Oh my I God. love that movie. Cary Grant. Boom, boom. Chris rolled the dice and it didn't pay off. Wow. That's Very interesting I love development that movie. here. Guys, it is once again a tie game going into round three. Eight to eight. This Yo, tournament just keeps surprising us, man. You have to give me a second to... <sighs> Lucas goes first. No. Oh, All right, guys. So we go into round three with score being eight to eight. And round three is our IMDb round. So how this will go is you each get a year, the genres, and the first three plot keywords of a certain movie. If you know it from that information alone, you'll get five points. However, if you don't know it yet from that information, you can go for two more keywords and the put point total will go down to three points. And if you still don't know it from that information, you can add up from one more keyword and the points total will go to go down to one point there is no stealing in this round chris because you're still the favorite movie number one or movie number two movie number one number one lucas movie number two evan uh give lucas his movie all right lucas the year is 2005 your genres are adventure drama and romance your plot keywords are rescue, starving, and giant. Rescue, starving, and giant? Can you repeat that all again one more time? Yeah, your year. It's 2005. Your genres are adventure, drama, and romance. Your plot keywords are rescue, starving, and giant. Giant. Okay. Oh, giant. Single. Giant. Giants. Singular. Giant. Okay. Singular. Uh, can I have two more? Yes. Yeah, your next two plot keywords are insects and dinosaurs. Fuck me. Oh, it's King Kong. Oh! oh three points. The pull. Peter Jackson. All right. So, no points for let me see. Definitely a I KO. like that movie. Way better than Skong Skull Island. <laughs> Fuck anyone who disagrees with me. I, I, also, like I also you like that. Uh, I think King Kong. However, uh, Giant right. threw me off. I kept there, thinking a Harry Potter movie, and I. For some we will go I to round four. Either way, so Chris, here's your movie. It was released in 2003. Mm -hmm. Its genres are action, fantasy, and adventure, and the first three plot keywords are undead, battle, and kidnapping. Oh my fucking god! Are you kidding me? This is like the easiest fucking one you've ever given. If he misses this, oh my, you should just give me the win because that's the biggest miss in the history of the universe. The biggest <laughs> miss in the history of the universe. You might. Ever. Ever. Might not what you ever. Think. Come on, Chris Doman. You're the commissioner. You're supposed to know shit. Please, dear God. I know you're from the Minnesota, but have a break. The keywords are undead, battle, and kidnapping. Alright, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Wait, what? <gasps> Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. That's incorrect. We're looking for Pirates, Pirates of the, the Caribbean, Caribbean. Here's the Black That's Pearl. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. See? It was really it, it's not Return of the King. And I was so is... mad at you for a second, because that was like the fucking easiest one. That's a wow, thing. Lucas I, is in the lead. By three points. Alright, yeah. Uh, <laughs> in the lead. Uh, oh, three... With three points because he is 11 to 8. So, how this will work, we go to round four where I have uh, five questions in front of me. Um, each correct answer is one point. There is no stealing. And Chris will have to get all three of his, and Lucas will have to miss his two to make sure that we go to a tiebreaker. Otherwise, Lucas wins this match. 
The category is movie you feel the quotes. Pain, Chris, you feel the pain? Also, you have 10 seconds to answer because it's the kind of speed round. Bum, 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 bum. Right. Awesome. Chris, bum, your bum, first bum, quote. Chris, bum, 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 bum. Chris. Lucas. Shut up. Chris, your first quote. If my aunt. Oh, uh, by the way, the year the movie was released is 1994. And the quote if, is. If my answers frighten you, then you should cease asking scary questions. Zach Sawson, the Avenged. Five. Kyle Durant. Four. Four. Pulp Fiction. Three. Correct for eight point. Well done. All right, Lucas. If you hit this one, you win the match. All right. The year is 2016. The quote is. Think of us as really fucked up tooth fairies, except we knock out the teeth and take the cash. 2016. Five, four, three, three, two, one. We're looking for Deadpool. All right, Chris. The movie was released in 2003. And the quote is, I can't carry it for you, but I can't Lord carry it. the King. Correct, buddy. Oh, God. That was really fast. All right. Lucas, the movie was released in 1951. And the quote is, I have always depended on the kindness of strangers. The classic. Five. Four. Three, two, incorrect. Oh. Looking for a streetcar named Desire. Oh my God! All right, Chris. If you hit this one, we'll go to a sudden death tiebreaker. So the missed. movie was released in 1994, and the quote is: "Now you'll have to excuse me, Captain. I have an appointment with Eternity, and I don't want to be late." Another Pulp Fiction question case. I'm gonna fly to your fucking shithole European country and repeat the quote. You. The quote is Now you'll have to excuse me, Captain. I have an appointment with Eternity and I don't want to be late. The Shawshank Redemption. Hey, and you're your winner! winner! Lucky Luke! Lucas Shieldbox! We were looking for a start. Thank you! Right. Arsenic and Old Lace. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, all right, post-match interview. Go. Go. Look, Chris, I, I, did, I was trying to be nicer in this thing, but since you're going to blow me off like this, you lost to freaking Lucas. You lost to this guy who's so cocky and so hung up in his own masshole self. You don't even have any words to respond to that. Show some class. What do you have to say? I was never meant to win this match. What else is there to say? Because that's my pattern. I win one, I lose one. I win one, I lose one. I won one, now I lost one. So, why break the cycle now, huh? Why break the cycle now? Honestly, to be honest, it's moments like this that make me think, fuck, why am I still a competitor? Why don't I just run this thing and focus more on that? Because I can't get ahead. All that I am is the butt end of people's jokes. For sure, I get an easy win, and then I go up against someone who's actually a challenge, and somehow I crap the bed. So what does it matter if... I play a great game or not. Yeah, I did play a decent game, but I fucking knew Pirates of the Caribbean, for some reason I blew it. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Simple as that. Um, as someone, as someone who is the butt of the jokes, where, where do you see yourself in the future? Retired. You're, you're, re are you officially retiring right now? I'm this close. I'm this close. I might do one more match, but here's the thing, man. I... I came into this tournament with the plan to at least get a winning record, but guess what? You know, God and Destiny have a different plan for me. So maybe it's best if I just stay at 500. Maybe I should just call it quits now while I'm still respectable. Because I, have, I, don't, I, don't, I, I have no more future. I have I'm one more forever question stuck you, in 500. Lucas, so you played a great game. You earned this win. Win against Manning, because you know what? You might as well try to win the tournament. Best of luck, dude. Manning, best of luck against Lucas. I have one more question for you, Chris. 
Is, is is it just a little bit more salt in the wound to the fact that Lucas, out of any competitor, Lucas no, was the one that no, beat you it like does this? Not, no, it doesn't matter. No. It could have been Jono. It could have been Manny. It could have been Kristen Smith. It could have been you. But, you know, I had just one hope. And I blew it. I blew it because I'd, I, I'm not Case. I don't write questions like Case does. And am I, am I going to throw him under the bus? No, I'm not going to do that because he does that enough to us as is. But that's fine. And it's not intentional. It's not ever intentional. Let me get that clear right now. It's never intentional. But it happens. So honestly, I'm better off just doing what I'm doing, dance monkey dance, yell at the top of my lungs to introduce people and announce their announce and the winner is because I have no there's no fucking point in me trying to compete. There's no fucking point. Wow, uh, do you do, do you have any last words? Thank you, Chris. Uh, we're going to move on to our winner, Lucas Schilbach. Lucky Luke's the winner. Um, probably the biggest heel Jeff Snyder type mass hole in the league. Um, look, you came out, you you won 11 to 10. You lost, uh, you almost lost on a classic. What was going through your head during that third round? Oh, round four, uh, sorry. I'm not good at movie quotes. Like a lot of people, there's a lot of those that, um, I don't know. For some reason, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, the two areas that I'll actually remember them. Most of the times I don't. It's a tough area. I am admittedly somewhat shocked at this moment. I thought he was going to get that one. I thought we would have been tied. I, I, I saw, I was surprised by the misses at the end because I thought he would have gotten those. I thought those. Yeah. Holy fuck, man. Would you say I'm that Chris is, would you say that Chris is your most respectable opponent yet? Absolutely. My victory over him legitimizes my my run. He's the okay. fourth win in a row. And he's the first one, first competitor that people actually respect. Talk about legitimizing a run. Your next match now is against Manny the Maelstrom Franks, who has also been leaning towards a bit of a heel. Uh, what, what do you have to say to that? Uh, they're all trying to imitate me. I get it. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> I make it interesting, and then people try to copy what's cool and interesting. Um, he's a talented player. I have to play him next. Got some studying to do. I think I can beat him though. Because what I bring to the table is not just knowledge. It's attitude and it's the ability to mess with other people's minds. That I is... fuck people up in these matches and they miss questions they shouldn't miss. That is very, that is very true. We saw evidence of that today, especially with the... Uh, Kristen, Chris of the Black Pearl. Um, any any other last thoughts before we uh, before we sign out? Um, I'm having trouble being a heel right now. This is tough. I'm shocked. I won a little bit. I, I knew I was talented. I knew Chris was talented. I, there's a couple missed at the end. I was surprised. I got caught up on the per- curse of the, the Pirates of the Caribbean one at the end too. I totally focused on the two keywords, which say Lord of the Rings. The third one is kidnap. Doesn't say Lord of the Rings. I completely spaced that. I'm frustrated I didn't get the Kong on the five because I should have. I actually really like that movie. Um, it's hard to bash Chris. It's not as easy to. It's not as much fun to beat him because I actually respect him. The yeah. last three opponents I played, I wanted to beat them, kick them in the nuts, kick them to the ground, and then just kick them in the head until they, their teeth come out. I wanted to embarrass, embarrass them, humiliate them, and destroy them. And I don't want to do that to Chris. So. To him, I would say, you played a really good match. Those are some tough misses, and I'm sure you'll kick yourself for like the next year over those like I would if I'd done the same thing. Uh, to the rest of the league, Manning in particular, I'm coming for you. You're not ready for this. You're not. It's not going to be fun. It is Ooh. not going to be a fun day of sitting down and answering trivia. I'm going to make this tough. I'm going to make this hard, and I'm going to beat you. And then I get what I want, which is the Gen Camp rematch from another league where she beat me. And it was embarrassing. And I want to fuck her up. Bad. Oh. I really do. But wow. Manning, I respect the guy. I'm going to beat him because I need to beat him. But I won't, rel- I won't enjoy it like I didn't enjoy beating Chris. But Jen, wow. it's going to be fun. This is going to be a blast. Come on, guys. Four game winning streak. Fuck everyone who t- counted me out after my first loss, uh, including Evan. So thank you for that. Fuck you, Evan. 
And guess what? If I win the title, I declare this now. I'm giving Evan a title shot. Just because I fucking feel like it, and because who gives a fuck? It'll be hilarious. It'll well, just be hilarious. Well, I am speechless. Uh, I'd like to thank Lucky Luke for potentially giving me a title shot. I don't even think we're allowed to do that, but hey, that's okay. Uh, let's throw it back over to myself in case. And we're back. Thanks, Evan, for those interviews. My God. Oh, my God. What a match. Uh, both competitors really well done. Uh, I'm... I'm I'm a little happy right now. I'm just a little happy right now, but not. I can't be as happy as I. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, Evan, final thoughts on this match? It's it's the way how it came down. I I thought Chris was gonna hit that Star Trek Generations question. It it, it looks like he was gonna type the match and we were going to a tiebreaker, but just ever so close. Sometimes those moments happen, and now he's three, three and three. Lucas, I think has a chance of winning this tournament. I think he has the ability to get into Jen Kemp's head. And that I think he I think he flies past Manning's. I think he has the ability to get into Jen Kemp's head and moves on in the tournament. This is a very very Evan, I, I do I, I wonder though if he can take on Manning and what he can do with Jem. Jem and Manning are really good competitors, so we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, that is for the next time. Uh, this was the match, guys. Please let us know your thoughts about this match in the comments below. For Evan DeGraff, I was your host, Case Cornelissa. We'll see you at the next match. Take care.